Okay, hello friends. Uh, let me focus here a little bit. Uh, this is Ruben Obed here, and I want to make a, a basically a, a small tutorial, just a, a little insight. I'm gonna be kind of brief, but um, hope you guys liked it. All right. Um, recently, I did a review on this 5.8. In fact, let me put this on autofocus so I won't have to go crazy here. All right. This is um a 5.8 gigahertz FPV uh, that I bought off of Tom Top Wholesalers on eBay. Um, it's a pretty good uh, FPV system. You could mount it pretty much on any quadcopter. Now, I mounted it on an uh, on Phantom uh, V 1.1.1, and um, <clears throat> I did some mods to it. What I did is, this is the little camera that comes with the FPV system. In fact. Let me set this up here a little bit. All right, there you go. This is the little camera. But as you notice, as you can see here, this is a clover leaf, you know, mushroom antenna. What I did is I removed the stock antenna, which is like a little tube that it comes with. It's like a little tube, and um, and that that antenna I removed it and I put this one. I bought these. I'm gonna show you the um, the controller. You see, I bought these from recently. I got it actually today from this store called NewYorkPlatform.com. Also from eBay. I got a real good price on these. It was like seven bucks. Uh, really good quality antennas. And the kit originally comes with this flat. I believe these are called planar antennas. These are like long range, but the problem with these is that you have to be like directly in back of it and you lose a lot of reception. So, I got rid of this. I don't, I don't like this. Anyway, so I took this and I soldered this on, you know, to the antenna. And this has, you know, the modded um, kit. So I, you know, I put a little push button. So this is one of the mods that I did so I could record video. And um, there you go. This is what it looked like. So now, let me put it on the on the quadcopter. Okay, put it on the quadcopter, and I'll show you guys how I um got this up and running. All right, sorry about that. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna give you a little close up of the setup. This is a Phantom V1.1.1. As you can see, it has an Andor 4K camera on there this is a cheap china gimbal these are like fifty dollars you can get these from tom top wholesalers also on um on ebay and if you notice i put a little um mounting plate this is from another gimbal another stabilizer and that's where i mounted the um the sema the sema fpv antenna 5.8 gigahertz give it to give you a look of my setup you see there you go from the back you can see how it is all right that's my setup okay um the range is extremely a lot better i mean night and day that i'm getting with this antenna um let me turn it on here it's a little uncomfortable i mean you gotta understand this isn't for this system so there you go okay we're back um yeah, my, my gimbal went a little crazy on me. Anyway, that's the system right there. All right. It has an FPV, as you can see. Okay, here's my hand. Now, watch in terms of, like, latency. Close, open. You see, there really isn't any latency. This is really, really good, you know, FPV. You know, it's fast. You know, you can fly real time with it. And that's my setup right here. Okay, so what you guys got to do, all right, is get yourself a 5.8 gigahertz FPB kit from Tom Top Wholesalers. All right, ditch the planar antenna that comes with that. Order these mushroom polarized antennas from this seller right here. I'm going to hook it up right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. NewYorkPlatform.com. I found them on eBay. Man, they were real 
fast to send me um send me the, the kit. I believe the guy was named Alan. Thank you, Alan. And um you know you hook that up on your Phantom One. You know, I pretty much got everything I need there. You know, it looks really sharp. This looks a lot better, honestly. You know, that that looks a lot better. I'll give you a, sh a shot from the side right here. You know, this is my little setup. And um you know, these are these aren't carbon fiber. These are their 9450 props. I believe they ha they are like mixed plastic and carbon fiber. And to date, these have been the best ones so far that I've used. I used carbon fiber props and I didn't like them. Okay? So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, check this out. You know, get yourself that FPB system. Do that mod. Give it a push button mod right there. And you, you're ready to go. You're ready to rock and roll. All right. Well, kind of hot here. Ruben Obed, check you out. Thank you guys for tuning in.